So I'm making this video with a heavy heart, guys. I logged onto my computer today just to see the official news that Apple has officially discontinued the iPod Nano and the iPod Shuffle, guys. They've killed it off forever. There will not be another Apple standalone MP3 player. I'm very, very bummed out, guys. I mean, these were a big part of our lives. I'm just here to run through the details in this video and, you know, hopefully shed some light on the future of Apple and what we can expect as well as the details with these new iPod changes. So let's jump into the video. So thank you for joining me here on the Macintosh Review, guys. I do have to say that the iPod Nano was one of my first iPods ever. This is the original iPod Nano, and I just loved the small form factor. The click wheel was absolutely awesome, and it just had great controls, was simple, super, super thin, super portable, and just one of my favorite iPods. This was the two gigabyte model that I got way back in the day, and I just loved the iPod Nano. Apple now, like I said earlier, has killed off the iPod Nano along with the iPod Shuffle forever, so they will not be producing any more of these iPods even through the current day. They won't even be doing that many refurbished versions as well. Now they will be keeping the iPod Touch so no need to worry if you're an iPod Touch user and they will be focusing more on the iPhone, the Mac, and the iPad industries, along with iOS, of course. So the iPod Nano, along with the iPod Shuffle, have been killed off so that Apple can focus on the iPod Touch in terms of their iPod line. They just want to simplify the line. And the iPods actually have received a new update. They actually will be offered in 32 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte models, starting at $199, which is actually cheaper than it was previously. Now with these changes, guys, this is definitely major news for Apple. And basically it shows how the company has changed since the early 2000s. As we know, the iPod actually played a major role in bringing Apple back to relevance, and they helped Apple reinvent itself as an electronics company rather than being just the computer company that it started as. But ever since the release of the iPhone, guys, Apple really has not had as good of iPod sales, and everybody's been migrating over to iOS, so really it just kind of seemed like this was inevitable. The last update to either the iPod Nano or the iPod Shuffle was in 2015. 15, they actually received new color options, but there really was not any other updates besides that. The iPod Shuffle actually went through five generations, and the iPod Nano went through seven generations. So a lot of work was done in the past, but the last software update and the last update in general was 2015. We haven't seen any activity on iPod since then, so it almost sort of seemed like we should have seen this coming. Now, I really do actually have a spot in my heart for the iPod Nano, as this was my first iPod iPod ever and I did move on to the iPod touch as you guys can see here and I still have the iPod video as well and I do love the form factor of the iPod touch it does a lot of great things a lot of great memories there similar to the iPhone but I really do love the iPod Nano the form factor was great for an mp3 player and it just brings back great memories of using this guys wherever I went it was the coolest thing ever and the click wheel was just great it had a great interface very easy to use and I loved even playing the games on this bad boy it had color it was is just such a big deal. So with the future of Apple with the iPod Touch, they are actually focusing more on that. And basically the iPod Touch, as you guys know, is just sort of a dumbed down version of iPhone, almost the iPhone without the phone. And with certain applications from the App Store with Wi-Fi, it could almost be used as a replacement for the iPhone. So Apple is focusing on that. The iPhone and iPad and Mac will take center stage for Apple moving forward. And the iPod Touch will still be available, but it will be the little brother of the iPhone. The iPod is officially dead. I hate to say that, but it's it's just very ironic because Apple did bring themselves back with the iPod and now they actually have discontinued it, showing how times are changing. But I do expect them to come out with some new technology such as uh, self-driving cars or updates to CarPlay, stuff like that, AR, augmented reality, anything that brings them to the forefront of these new technological innovations. We'll have to see because the iPod played a big part of that in the past. Now I'm just very excited to see what they will do for the future. Multi-touch has officially taken over the click wheel. Anyway, be sure to subscribe for more updates on Apple, just go ahead and click the subscribe button down there. Also, be sure to like this video so we have some hope for some new great devices from Apple moving forward with the losses of our little babies here. I also will have my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus website page and Instagram page along with some other cool links for you guys to check out down there in the description. So go ahead and check those out. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. RIP to the iPod. It was a great little device that brought Apple back to life. And stay awesome, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.